Here's another very interesting example about surface tension. Did you know that bugs can actually walk on water? And yes, there are bugs in nature, and some of them that uh, are able to do so, and they have very special feet. Now, let's take a look at our fantastic little bug here. Now, I've only drawn three legs. Bugs usually have six legs. So assume that the bug has six legs standing on the water. And let's say that each leg, the bottom of the foot, is circular in size and that the radius is 0.2 millimeters. Let's say the mass of the bug is 3 times 10 to the minus 5 kilograms, which is a very small fraction of a gram. And then the question would be, can the bug actually stay on top of the water? Will the surface tension hold up the bug? And if so, what is the contact angle between the water and the bottom of the feet of the, of the bug? All right, let's try that. Again, the coefficient of surface tension for water, let's say at 20 degrees, would be 72.8 dynes per centimeter. And yes, let's work this one out using CGS units instead of MKS units and see what we get. So we're going to do everything in dynes and centimeters. And um, let's try. Uh, the equation, of course, is that the, um, the surface tension has to be equal to the coefficient of surface tension times the length, the total length of the, of the edge of the feet on resting on the water. And then, of course, times the cosine of the angle theta. So we don't know what the angle is. Let's assume that the bug can stand on water, and we're going to solve this for theta. So the surface tension, that would, of course, be equal to the weight of the bug, mg. That's equal to the coefficient. And, of course, the length now, there's six, six feet, and each feet has a circumference, so it would be 2 pi r times 6. So it would be times 6 times 2 pi times the radius times the cosine of the angle theta, which means we can now solve that for the cosine of theta. So the cosine of theta is equal to mg divided by uh, gamma times 6 times 2 pi r. And then if we take the r cosine of that, theta is then the r cosine of this quantity. So it would be m times g divided by gamma times 6 times 2 pi r. All right. Let's see if this bug can float. Quote, float. All right, this is equal to the r cosine of the mass, which we said was this many kilograms converted up to grams would be 0.03 grams. So now we're in the CGS system. Uh, the G then would be 980 centimeters per second squared, centimeters per second squared. Divide the whole thing by the coefficient that would be 72.8, 72.8 dynes per centimeter. Multiply that times 6, times 2, times pi, and times the radius converted to centimeters, which would be 0 0.02 centimeters. So we have this whole thing now in the CGS units. Coming over here, uh, let's see what that is equal to. So we have a 0 0.03 times 980 divided by 72.8, divided by 6, divided by 2, divided by pi, and then divided by 0 0.02 equals, so it's the R cosine, let me just write that down, the R cosine of 0 0.5356. Now that's encouraging, because if that of course came out to be greater than 1, then the bug wouldn't be able to float. The fact that it's somewhere between 0 and 1, we're in good shape, so now taking the R cosine of that, it's 57.6, so let's call it 58 degrees. So yes, indeed, that bug can walk on water, and the contact angle only needs to be 58 degrees. That means the bug can have a good lunge, get a little heavier, and still walk on water. And that's how you do a problem like that.